welcome back to 360 Alaskan Life. So today I need to just uh, get the tractor started up, but I thought I'd go over with you the cold weather starting procedures I use up here. So the current temperature is about eight below. And so when it's cold like this, you gotta take care with these little diesel engines, make sure you start them up okay. So before I ever even come out and uh, try to start up my tractor, I go ahead and uh, plug in the block heater on it. So right here you can see this extension cord running right up to my tractor itself. That's for the block heater system. So when you first plug the tractor in, I find you need to give it a good, good hour, 90 minutes to fully warm up the engine to be ready to start. Right down on the side of the engine with the red rubber cap on it is the actual engine block heater, which keeps the coolant warm. The block heater is just like a little water heater plug inside the engine. That as the water circulates by, it's just warming it up and it's circulating through the engine. You can see right here is the distribution for the block and the pan heaters on my tractor. So right down here on the side of the oil pan, right in front of the orange uh, spot is an oil pan heater. This is the opposite side of the engine and you can see oil pan heater right down here. Okay, so now we're in the cab and the block heaters have preheated the engine and so now we're getting ready to actually start the engine. So there's a couple of things to do first when it's this cold outside, uh, eight below as it is now, uh, before you want to start up one of these little diesel engines. Now my Kubota B2650 has a cab, so I have to turn off the environmental controls first and this is just to save battery power as you get ready to start it. You don't want to be cranking on the engine and have the fan blowing at the same time. It's just a good uh, good way to wear out the battery. Okay, next we want to warm up the glow plugs. And at these temperatures, you need to let them warm up for 20 to 30 seconds. So you just turn your Kubota key part way. You feel a little tension there. And you see the glow plug light come on. That's the yellow light right in front of you there with the coils. So we're going to hold that over for about 20 to 30 seconds. Making sure that you're at low throttle right now. We don't want to start the engine at high throttle. Okay, so I've been holding that key over for 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Well, that was anticlimactic. So I'll be right back after I get a battery charger on this thing. So as you can see with the joys of Arctic life, I went to start it and unfortunately the battery was uh, was dead So we got to wait for it to charge up here, but Evan was here to uh, give me a hand getting the charger set up so we can get uh -huh. it running yep. Thanks, Evan mm -hmm. Okay, so the Kubota is uh, started up right now, but I don't want to idle it up right away It really needs to let the engine warm up for a while So it's running at about 900 a thousand rpms right now and that's a good place just to let it sit idle. I'm gonna go inside. I'll come back out here in about 10 minutes. And then at 10 minutes, I'll step the idle up on it and give it another 10 minutes to fully warm up. So the manual recommends running the tractor at 50% of its max capacity for at least 15 minutes in these temperatures. So what I find is I idle the tractor up to about I add the tractor up to about 1500 RPMs and then I let it set for another 15 minutes. Okay, so once you got the idle set up, very important, don't forget, this is a tractor with a cab. Adjust the environmental controls to get the heat circulating in here. Then when I come back out in 15 20 minutes, it'll be nice and toasty. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. 360 Alaskan Life. subscribe yet don't forget to do that go ahead and click the subscribe button right now thanks for watching 360 alaskan life i'll see you on the next one we gotta get to moving some snow here just gonna drop these forks as soon as evan gets back with the snow machine okay so evan's gonna pull the latches on the forks for me and we're gonna get that bucket on finally
right, I haven't got it off. Satisfying about being able to move snow in your t-shirt. 